Hey everyone! I have another collab video today. I'm working with my friends Diane from Curly Wavy Diane and Sarah from Water Lily 716. I will have all of their links down below. Diane does great videos for looser, wavy, curly hair types, a lot of information and product reviews. Sarah does great videos for slightly curlier hair, also great information. I actually discovered the Curly Girl method through her videos, so make sure you check them out because they are both fabulous. For this video, we will be sharing with you our Curly Girl Method product picks for summer. The first product that I have is the Mango and Carrot line from Shea Moisture. Um, now this says it is one of their kids' lines, but there's really no reason why adults can't use it as well. Um, I saw this at Sally Beauty up at school, um, both the shampoo and the conditioner. I really wanted to get both of them, but I couldn't spend too much money, so I had to um, practice a little self-restraint and just go with the shampoo because I needed shampoo. Um, I was intrigued because I had never seen this line before. Um, what I like about it is the fact that it is all olive oil based. In the shampoo, olive oil is the third ingredient behind water and decal glucoside, which is the cleanser. Um, olive oil is not only moisturizing, but also full of vitamin E, which is a great nutrient to nourish and strengthen your hair. If you need a way to treat your hair after being out in the sun, being at the beach, swimming, whatever, or you just want to show your hair a little more love, um, I recommend this line. It's moisturizing without being too heavy. Um, I would compare the shampoo shampoo to the coconut and hibiscus shampoo in terms of moisture versus weight, um, whereas like the shea butter is a little heavier on my hair. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so this is great and it smells wonderful. It smells like tangerine, very summery, and really who wouldn't be happy with this gorgeous orange bottle sitting in your bathroom? All right, the next line I know I have talked about multiple times before, so if you're sick of hearing about this, I'm really sorry. It's the coconut and hibiscus line also from Shea Moisture. I know I'm kind of a Shea Moisture nut. Um, I have the shampoo, the conditioner, and then I have the curl and style milk here. Coconut and hibiscus, very tropical. Um, my hair loves coconut, which is why I love this line. Um, the shampoo is great, it's moisturizing without being too heavy. Um, so is the conditioner. It's packed full of natural oils and butters like coconut, mango seed, um, silk protein, lots of good stuff. And then this is heavier and richer. It is meant to be used as a leave-in conditioner, and I actually can't use it like that because it's so easy for me to use too much. That's just my texture. Um, so I am going to use this as a more moisturizing rinse out and possibly even as a deep conditioner. Again, if you are looking for a good way to show your hair some love after um, being out in the sun or whatever, we are very hard on our hair during the summer if you like to be outside in the heat. Uh, this is another great way to go. Very nice and summery. The scent is amazing. Um, it's a sweet coconut. It is strong, I know, but I love it and it doesn't upset me the way some coconut scents do. Okay, the next two that I have are great cheapy picks. You can find these at a lot of different places, even like the grocery store. This is the VO5 Moisture Milks Conditioner in Passion Fruit Smoothie and I have the Suave Naturals Conditioner in Tropical Coconut. This one is really common. You can find this just about anywhere. Um, these are both great multitaskers. They are great to co-wash with. Um, this one is a little more moisturizing. I actually can't really co-wash my hair with the Moisture Milks VO5 conditioners because they are a little bit too much, but again, that's just my texture. Um, this is lighter. This is what I would rather co-wash my hair with just because it doesn't make my hair um, oily at the roots. They both make great leave-in light options, maybe if you have fine hair. This has protein. Um, if your hair does not like protein, beware, but if your hair needs protein, this is great. If you want to mix up a mask or a treatment at home and you want to add a splash of conditioner, these are also both wonderful. They're just all around good conditioners and also very summery. This one smells... The smell reminds me of oranges and peaches. This one I am kind of off and on about. Um, for a while I was fine with it and then the scent started to make my stomach turn. This is what I talked about before with some coconut scents bothering me. I'm usually referring to this one. I stopped using it for a while and then I decided that I liked it again and I started using it and then it started making my stomach turn again. I might have this bottle sitting around a while. That's just a personal thing. This one is around a dollar. This one between a dollar and two dollars. These are both great and very affordable. 
helpful. The next product that I have is a new one. I tried to get a little fresh blood in the products that I'm sharing with you. This is the Tea Tree Triple Threat Shampoo from Giovanni. Try saying that five times fast, holy crap. Um, I got this at Walmart. It was seven or eight dollars. This is a sulfate-free shampoo. It has just about every non-sulfate cleanser in it. This is a pretty strong shampoo. If you look on the back, they have this little scale. Um, it is closer to the clarifying end of the spectrum. So this will strip your hair. That is what it is meant to do. So if you are looking for a good clarifying shampoo that does not have harsh sulfates in it, I would recommend this one. Um, in addition to giving your hair a good deep clean though, this has a really nice cooling sensation in it from some of the herbs in it. Um, according to the label, they say cooling peppermint. It also has tea tree oil, obviously, and eucalyptus. Really nice chill on your scalp when you use it. So in addition to deep cleaning your hair, um, just imagine washing your hair with this when the weather is all hot and sticky. Um, I don't know about where you all live, but where I live, summer gets absolutely disgusting. This will be so refreshing to use. The next product that I have here is Strange But True. Uh, I heard about this through my friend Sarah Waterlily716. She has a more in-depth video on her channel if you would like to check it out. Um, it is to use personal lubricant, um, at least the liquid version. I don't know about the gel versions. I think they have gel versions out there as well. But the liquid version is a dupe for the Curly Hair Solutions Curl Keeper Serum, which I believe you can only buy online and I think costs $15 a bottle if I remember correctly. This is half the price and you can get it at any drugstore, Walmart, etc. This is Walmart's brand Equate. Um, any brand will do. The ingredients are almost exactly the same. They are both glycerin based. Again, Sarah goes a little more in depth. So you can use this instead of a very expensive curl friendly serum and instead of a cheaper serum that's loaded with silicones. I have tried this on dry hair and it made my hair greasy, so I don't recommend that. I recommend using this on wet hair as you're styling. I put it on over top of my leave-in before my gel. You have a cheap dupe for a much more expensive product that does exactly the same thing. You really can't go wrong. If you are brave enough, get yourself some of this. The next product that I have here is a gel, which is kind of going to levitate a little bit because I had it turned upside down. This is the Polish Perfect Gel from LA Looks. Um, I will have a review linked down below that's a little more in-depth. It is a level 8. They call it Mega Hold. Um, of their gels, that is actually a softer hold, which is not a problem for me during the summer because with the humidity, um, my curls pop more. They have more spring and oomph to them, so I don't need such a strong hold gel to kind of force my hair to curl um, as I do in the winter. This is, as you can see on the label, an anti-frizz shine gel. It has PEG40 hydrogenated castor oil in it, which I have not had problems with, um, with it building up, if you're wondering. So it adds a little more moisture and helps smooth your frizz down, which makes it a great pick for summer. And it's also a lovely orchid purple to get you in the mood. For a summertime DIY, I know I talk about this a lot too, so if you're sick of hearing about this, I'm sorry again. It is coconut oil. This is my absolute favorite DIY. I love to just slather this on my dry hair, wrap it up, sleep on it overnight, and wash it out the next day. It nourishes my hair, moisturizes it. You can also use this as an ingredient in masks and as a pre-swim treatment. It's summertime, we're gonna be going to the pool, going to the beach, but salt water and chlorine water can be really hard on your hair. So what you can do with an oil, and actually you don't just need to use coconut oil for this, you can really use any kind of oil. You want to slather it on your hair dry before you go in the water. Oil and water repel each other, so number one, the oil should not rinse off in the water, and number two, it will form a barrier on your hair to keep it from absorbing the salt water or the chlorine water that would otherwise dry it out and damage it. So you can use this as a protective step as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some tips and suggestions from it. Um, thank you as always for watching. Make sure you check out all the links down below. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for subscribing. Hello to all my new subscribers. I recently passed a thousand subscribers, which is really exciting. I would not be here without all of you guys. So thank you. Much love and I'll see you next time. Bye.